Hello again, Bruce Marshall from Emerson Swan, and I'm here today with Mike Bernasconi from NutraSafe, and we're going to talk to you today about a subject that's been near and dear to my heart for the last year and a half or so, and that's system water quality. In my training sessions, I talk about system water, both internal and external, and how important it is to address the issues that come along with these fluids. The external uh, fluids, of course, are the condensate that comes out of condensing boilers. So, Mike, uh, what can you tell us about the condensate and what we need to know? Well, as, as you know, and hopefully everyone else knows, all new high-efficiency boilers that are fluid either in PVC or polypropylene, and this would include furnaces and water heaters, um, give off condensate. This condensate is acidic. Um, generally speaking, it runs the pH runs between 3.8 and 4.2, although we have seen instances where some gas suppliers have a different chemical compound in their gas, and we've seen pHs as low as 1.8 and 2.0. Wow, that's, that's, that's pretty low. And, of course, this, this condensate cannot be discharged into the aquifers or the uh, municipal uh, uh, sewer systems. We need to do something about it. And it's uh, what I've found in my travels is the level of knowledge with the contractors is not what it should be as far as the codes and what we need to what we need to do. Uh, I find contractors either not installing the neutralizers or not maintaining them, not understanding the importance of, of maintaining them. That nothing is forever, and they need they need maintenance. Uh, can you address that? Some of those issues. Yeah, correct. Um, first of all. Uh, all of the plumbing codes that I have reviewed um, all have specific verbiage in them that states that you should not discharge acidic waste into a drain before it's treated. Um, and there's generally two ways of treating it. It's either dilution or treating it with some sort of media as we do with our condensate neutralizers. Um, and the, your other point about the contractors not using them, um, I think that's something that has to do with education. And as we move forward, um, we're constantly working with our reps and everybody else that we deal with to try to educate the contractors, code enforcement officials, and everybody else that is involved with this. And uh, it, seem, it seems to be working um, great. Great. So, uh, Mike, uh, what can you tell us about NutraSafe and what sets NutraSafe apart? Okay, well, we can talk about several things about NutraSafe in that account. Um, first, let's talk about the sizing. Um, we have a complete range of sizing. Um, we start out with our small 2-inch tube, which is rated for up to 220,000 BTUs of boiler input. That will cover most all of your residential applications. Um, next, we have a 3-inch tube, um, which is good for 400,000 BTUs. Um, can be some small commercial, some large residential. Um, next, we go up to a 4-inch tube, uh, which is good for 1.2 million BTUs. Uh, but at that point, you're pretty much into commercial applications. And then we have two tank sizes. Um, that's the largest of the tank size, which is good for up to 6 million BTUs. And then we have a tank, that, that's a 5-gallon tank, and we have a 3-gallon tank um, that's good for up to 4 million BTUs. Um, so we cover every, just about every application? Yeah, we cover everything from you know, 0 to 6 million BTUs, and you, know, you can put these in series and get and, you know, and, and multiply them like that. So if you have more than six million, it's easy to cover that too. Wow, that's, that's great. Uh, earlier I made reference uh, to the maintenance that's involved with these, but before we get into that, I, I'd like to talk a little bit about the media itself. And I noticed that it's a little different from other media that I've seen, uh, specifically marble chips. Uh, what can you tell us about this, Mike? Okay, well, we've done a lot of research and a lot of practice and experimenting with, with different kinds of media. And what we found that this product, which is calcite, um, and it's, as you can see, it's very consistent in size because it's crushed up and then it's run through a screening process, um, which does two things. It gives us the consistency of size and also eliminates all of the dust and the powder, which has been known to clog condensate pumps and drains and everything else. Um, we have had no issues with clogging at, at all with this. Um, so by having this consistent size also gives us the, uh, the most 
amount of surface area. And surface area is important because the more surface area you have, the more contact you have with the condensate, the better job it's going to do. So these neutralizers are designed to last a heating season. However, every case is different. Depending upon the usage of the equipment, the actual acidity level of the condensate itself, it may not last a whole heating season. And the only way to properly check is to take a sample of the condensate and see what the pH is with a pH meter. And that will give you an idea of how long this, is, this equipment is going, is going to last. Yes, absolutely, Bruce. You're totally correct in that. Um, the, the, the ratings that are given on the units and in the, in the literature are guidelines. And like you said, each, each application is different. We don't know how many hours a year this is going to run. We don't know how long when it's running it's going to be in full condensing mode or partial condensing mode. We don't know what the chemical compound of the gas is, so we don't know exactly what the pH is coming out of the unit. If it's 4, that's one thing. If it's 2, pH scale is not linear, it's exponential, so the difference between 2 and 4 is 100 times more acidic. So if you have pH condensate of a pH of 2, then chances are you're going to need to install a larger neutralizer for that unit because the, the one that's rated for that probably is not going, to, not going to last very long. And you're right, the only way to check positively is with a pH meter. Um, all of our units are made to be taken apart, washed, rinsed out, put new media in. Um, we try to make as consistent a product as possible. All the media that is put in when the product is produced is weighed in. All the replacement media packages are the same weight as the original one. And um, we hope that you know that, that, that makes it consistent all the way through. So this has to be part of the annual maintenance on the equipment. This has to be an integral part of that an annual maintenance. It, absolutely, yes. Okay. Just, it needs to be checked and it needs to be um, you know, it, it should be checked with a pH meter. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are just going to go there and maybe just change the, change the media once a year. Um, that's fine, but you should still check to make sure that it lasted the whole year. Right, right. Well, hopefully you now have a better understanding of the importance of neutralizing your condensate and the importance of having this as part of your installation package and part of your ongoing maintenance. Mike, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Bruce, thanks for having me and thanks for spreading the word. Thank you, everybody.